Hi there, this is Ani Business with your friend Simeon. You're welcome back to my YouTube channel. There's this question that people do ask me. Uh, I think it's a kind of frequently asked question to me. So I want to deal with it publicly here so that everyone that is coming across my YouTube channel can see it, listen to what I have to say, then stop coming to my DM to ask me the same question. I've had a lot of people that called me, you know, text me from different parts of Nigeria and also from other countries that like how many peaks can we start with? Uh, what are the set of peaks to start with? That one I've already dealt with it in the previous video. You can check the previous video. When you come across one of my video and you are coming straight to my DM to ask me questions. For instance, there are people that do ask me, uh, I want to go into peak farming and I want you to be my guideline. How do I be your guideline apart from what I'm doing here on YouTube? So if you come across one of my video, the best thing is to go inside, check the channels and check other videos. If the first video you watch really interests you, do what? Go down, check other videos and see if you will see things that are related to what you are looking for. Then you start from there. Please come into my DM to ask me. I want to go into fish farming. I want to go into pig farming. I don't know what to do. I want you to be my guideline. I don't know how I can be your guideline apart from the one I'm doing on YouTube here. Except you want me to come to your farm or except you want to give me a contract or you want me to come and consult for you or rather run a training for your workers or anything. That is the only way I can give you a practical what? A practical guide line i have nothing to offer you if you come to my dm asking me this question i will still redirect you to my youtube channel because what you are looking for is already on youtube so let's treat this question now about the set of peaks to start with i already given you that in the previous video and i told you to check so how many peaks can you start with this shouldn't be a puzzling problem for you at all it has to do with your capital it has to do with your pocket it has to do with your facility. It has to do with your structure. Those are the things we want to check right now. First, let's start with your structure. What structure do you have in your farm? Is it a lengthy structure? Is it a short structure? How many rooms do your building, your pig house, your pen, whatever you call it, how many rooms does it have? Is it 10? Is it 5? Is it 3? Is it 2? Is it 20? 20 in such a way that you have 10 at the right and 10 by the left. Is it 5? Is it 10? You have 5, 5 left and right. Like how many rooms is your pig house? That will determine how many pigs you can start with. You can have a pig house that contains only 3 boxes. Like the box I'm talking about right now is their rooms inside the structure you made for them. So you are still going to divide it into column, like into section by section, room by room, to keep either two, three, four. So like how many rooms does it have? So once you know the room it has, you will know the amount you are going to start with. If you have a pig house that only have three rooms, you cannot go and buy 10 pigs and put them inside. I talked about something on my YouTube channel some time ago that if you take two or three pigs that are not related together, they do not grow in the same farm or in the same place. They have not seen each other before. Even the ones that grow together at times tend to fight each other, especially if one is a bit tender or rather smaller than the rest. They will be riding that smaller one or the tender one. In terms of food, or rather anything they could just be stressing the pig beating the pig you will come you will see all the body reddish they will be peace for the pig so buying them from this different farm then gathering them together in the same room might likely cause you mortality in the farm so it is better to buy the one that are family i'm not saying you should buy male and female from the same farm to cross so like if you want to buy five you can buy two females from one farm or rather four females from one farm and buy one male from another farm if they will sell for you. But the tactics as which they sell pig 
especially in farming when it comes to livestock farming is to sell both the male and female together when you buy them like that the same family they will be if they grow up together in the same place before you brought them to your place it will be easier for them to relate inside that room so you can start with two the number of the rooms you have inside your structure determine how many pigs you are going to start with now let's go to another point the size of your room determine how many pigs you can start with that too is inside the size of the rooms you have your structure the rooms you have inside maybe they are five maybe they are ten but what is the size of the room is it small are they big can they take up to five pigs can they take up to two pigs can they take up to three pigs put this into places before you go ahead and buy pigs i explained in the first place that the number of the rooms you have determine how many pigs you are going to buy this second one now the size of the rooms you have determine how many pigs are going to stay inside if you have a size of room that is maybe four feet by four feet long like square four feet and four feet square all together you cannot put more than two three even three is much especially if your pig are big so two three two three is enough mostly any room that is within the range of four feet by four feet square only take one pig that is the best to go so you have the female or the male inside that single room when it's time for you to mix them you take the female to the male inside his room then after crossing for something like two three days you bring the pig the, the female pig which is the soul you bring her back to our room so the size of the rooms you have determine the number of pig you are going to buy you cannot have that size i'm talking about and buy five ten p inside it's not possible except you have a room that is within the range of maybe eight by ten feet you know a rectangle that's going to be a rectangle right so except you have that size that is when you can buy up to five up to six inside one room and you are not buying them for mating especially if you only have one or two rooms because these pigs are not going to be on heat at the same time if the six we have inside one room are female and you have extra one room that a male is the six pigs are not going to be on heat at the same time so if one is on heat you go and cross that one then you bring her back into the room that you left five at the end of the day the stress the struggle to eat and everything all together might cause problem to the pig that you just crossed so it is not a good idea to do it in such way now let's move to another point the size of pigs you are buying the size of pigs also matter the size of pigs you are buying determine the room they are going to stay if you are buying winners maybe five winners and you have a room of four by four square you can put the five winners inside in short for a limited time it can even accommodate up to 10 piglets especially at their first to third months when they are getting up to four months you should know they are increasing in sizes and there is this heat that comes from pig especially if you don't wash their houses well especially if they are dirty ha <laughs> They are not going to feel comfortable being together inside that small room so when they are going up to four months what do you do you separate them immediately like you you take some number sort them the ones that are bigger in size to another room so that is what you do but when you have a room that is larger than that you can keep them inside for as long as they can be some can stay inside one room so far the room is big they can stay inside till they are up to five six seven months but if yours is for production if you are keeping them for production like the production i'm talking about is you rear them when they are ready to meet when they are on heat they are mature you cross them then you allow them to get pregnant until they deliver then you take care of the baby you know the mother is not going to carry the pregnancy as i explained earlier inside the same room with others and also deliver the baby inside that room if she doesn't kill the baby the rest will kill the 
baby. So try to understand this simple explanation so that you can know how many number of pig to start with. But if you are raising them for meat, you can keep as much as 10. You can buy as much as eight. You can buy five and put them inside the room. So far, the room is big. So the sizes won't affect the room. So you can raise them till they are seven, eight, or how many months you want to raise them to before you sell them for meat. So that is that about that. Number four, which is another point, is your capital. Your capital will determine how many pigs you want to buy. You cannot have uh, maybe 200,000 and say, I want to buy 10 pigs. Even if it is piglets. I don't think 200,000 can buy 10 piglets. Except you are buying all this local. You know, local is different from local. If you've been to Benue before, if you've been to Kogi, if you've been to all this on do in some of these states that I may mention of right now, they do rear all these pigs, like the owners who just leave them. They are extremely local. Yes, they are extremely local. So there is another level of local pig that will still grow a little bit big, larger. And there is this one that is extremely local, that they are going to be small, not only for their life. That is how they are going to be. So they usually rear those ones in the community. They will just leave them to eat openly. They will go anywhere they like. It's a free range. So whenever time they want to kill, they could just catch and kill. So even in Asarawa, I used to see that. When I traveled down to that area, I used to see that. So the locals are different, except you want to buy that local that you can buy up to 20 or 10 because the price is not going to be on the high side. But if you want to buy local that is a bit okay, 200,000 Naira, I don't think it can buy up to 10. I don't think it can buy up to 10. And if it is a pure breed, you are looking for a very good breed, then you are going to buy up to a four or five of the piglet. So in most cases, your capital determine how many pigs you can start with. This has nothing to do with knowledge. Starting a pig farm is not a big deal. It's, it's not complicated like a uh, fish. The only thing I will advise you is get a veterinary doctor that will come to your farm either once in a week or once in a month or twice in a month so that they can be checking your pig. You know you don't have idea, you don't have knowledge. You don't really know when they are weak or when something is wrong with them. So all these people are the people that are going to help you out. The money you are going to give this veterinary doctor is not going to be much. So far, they are staying around with you. You can pay them 3000 naira for their visitation. It's just visitation. It is only when they notice something is wrong, that is when you should pay them. So if they did not treat your pig, but you have to find a reliable one. Because there are some people, if they don't have money, they will just come to your farm, started using injection anyhow because they want to be paid. So they will just do anything. It could just be something like vitamin. They could inject the pig just to get money from you. So you have to find a trustworthy veterinary. So that is that about that. So starting a pig farm is nothing uh, big. I'm still going to talk on that soon, Sha. So that is that about the capital. Okay, the last, which is not the least, the breed you buy still matters a lot. The breed you buy just as i explained now if you want to buy pure breed and you have hundred thousand naira what do you do you buy only two pigs or you buy only one pig if you if you if you have a business like external business that you can be getting a token from there to be feeding the two pigs you can use the whole hundred thousand to buy two pigs if you are buying pure breed then the little money that is coming from the other business you use to feed them. The food they are going to eat is not much. You only have two pigs. And if you don't have external business, that is just how much you raise to start the business. Start with one pig. Use the remaining money to be feeding the pig little by little until you secure another money to buy another pig. So that is how to grow in it. The breed you buy matters a lot. So the breed you buy will determine how many pigs you are going to get. For instance now, 
that hundred thousand naira, if you want to buy local breed, you can buy up to three or four. But if it is pure breed, the only truth I will tell you is it won't be more than two. Yes, it won't be more than two. If you are seeing anyone selling pure breed for you at twenty, well, it could be winners though. It could be winners, and we have growers. So their age and the amount they sell it for you matters a lot too. So that is that on how many pigs to start with. You don't need to worry yourself like how many pigs should I start with? I have this, I have that. If you have five hundred thousand naira, spend up to three hundred thousand naira to buy your pig. Keep the remaining two hundred thousand naira to feed your pig if you have up to 1 million you can spend 600,000 naira to buy your pig you can use the remaining 400,000 naira to do what to take care of them until you have money to do what to continue from where the 400,000 naira end this thing is not hard at all that is just how to start in pig farming and grow to become a very big and lucrative pig farmer I explained in the other video, if you have only two pigs, male and female in your farm, it won't take them a longer time before you have up to 10, 20 pigs in the farm. Because pigs are what? They are highly prolific in nature. What I'm trying to explain to you is, pigs give birth to multiple babies within four months. And they can do that twice in a year, if you take care of them very well. If you love this video and this video is interested, please encourage me by liking the video and also don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Lots are coming your way. Thank you for watching.